I've heard guys say, it's, it's like a shame that I can't take that room with you. Take it with you. I photographed it, I videotaped it. I was part of the entire design and build process and it's done. Now I need to move on to the next one and take that. Kitchen. It was designed by Robert Design Group. Bead groove shaker style is what we went with. The one thing I did like that the kitchen company and also the clients thought of is maxing out the space around the island. So it was a nice trade-off and it gives you a nice amount of space around the island to walk around and you still get all this storage space around the island. So Caesar Stone is by far the first choice when it comes to countertop surfaces. Used it upstairs in the bathroom, in the girls' bathroom ensuite, but wanted to definitely use it in the kitchen. It's a very natural looking stone and that's why I think it's a very popular one now. It goes really well with the black cast iron sink. It looks very clean. This island here is literally an entire slab. I got to carry this in. I was told it was about 600 pounds to carry this thing in. Drop it down, finesse it around the sink, and then silicone it down. It's never gonna go anywhere. The cupboard doors and the drawer doors, normally you would go with three quarter, but these guys are all seven eighths. I like that a lot. I like the hardware, all the hardware from Richelieu, the soft clothes. These cast iron sinks were installed with these brackets at Kohler Supplies, which are really smart. And the guys from uh, Marble Marble, when they're installing the, the countertop, they just grind it down the cast iron part just to give it a rough edge when you apply the silicone, it'll adhere really nicely to the cedar stone. Kohler's come up with the Sensei faucet. I think it's the best touchless faucet system on the market right now. The main sink got that faucet, which I like a lot. It's got a nice spray. It's got the same spray as the Simplice faucet on the island sink. Their spray feature, so they got the traditional faucet that comes out, they have their spray feature that it's not just a circle anymore. They put it in an oval, and it's actually an oval that twists. And the reason they did that is it actually adds more pressure when you need to clean that sink properly or clean something in that sink. Once you put the faucet in and you've got the gooseneck from the Sensei, the windowsill was in the way of the gooseneck. So it's either you change the faucet, which I refuse to do because that's the one that clients chose, or you modify the casing, the sill of the window. And so that's what I chose to do. I'm a big fan of backsplashes not stopping at the 18 inch mark. Um, I need something to make me stop a tile. This backsplash is a herringbone. Not an easy one to install. These windows, the casing, were installed after the backsplash. That was critical for me because this is all glass tile backsplash and you can't get a perfect cut with glass tile. Installing the cooktop, a separate cooktop is a first for me. Installing a pot filler, um, that pot filler can actually go from the center and it can extend out to the front burners of either right or left side of the cooktop. And so you don't have to worry about lifting up this massive pot of water from the sink and bring it over to the cooktop. You just put the empty pot there and fill it in. 